At the weekend in Lagos, concerned stakeholders gathered to celebrate and do an official handing over ceremony. At the annual general meeting as they jubilate, they also deliberate on posts being given to each members and ways to make it better as their main aim focuses on empowering, donating and taking care of people, especially women and girls in the society. The Pink Forced Sisters believed that for them to go high is for them to continue to build up strong women for a stronger world through empowerment program and lifting less privileged children out of the streets in terms of giving them quality education. Speaking to Captain Television at the Lagos State Teaching Hospital, the immediate past district chairman, Elizabeth Mudukbe Oyedunton, aired a view on the theme of the year alongside the annual general meeting chairman, Nike Shudipo. The social service team is Strong Women, Stronger World. And she asked us to focus on four areas for women and girls on health, uh, education, empowerment, and opportunities. So all the programs have been focused, have revolved around the girls and the women. So we'll deliberate on what they did, like what they said they were going to do at the beginning of their year, and if it was done or it wasn't done, and then if it was done, how it was done, so that we're actually working our talk. You know, if you say you're going to do something, then you have to do it. So that's what the AGM is all about. When, when, when the executive was coming in, 1st of July 2021, there were lots of things they said they were going to do. So the AGM, it's a kind of a report of stewardship. I said A, I did A. I said C, I did C. But not that I said A and then I didn't do it. So every member is going to be here will ask questions, how it was done, whether it was done properly, whether it wasn't done properly. That's the essence of the AGM. Also, at the general meeting, the incoming district chairman, Ulufolake Ajayi, also have this to say. Strong women, stronger world. How do we have strong women and stronger world if we don't empower them? We are women, we are mothers, we are wives, and we know what happens majority of our women who are widows are being not being well looked after we concentrate on them we concentrate on the orphans and we educate them for example we have the orphans of the hiv people who are late we educate them as we am talking we educate them to the university level and some of them have been graduating and we continue in that in that way however members are encouraged to keep on doing the good work as their work is all about service and their aim, which is empowering fellow women in the society.